Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a lipstick declutter and it's gonna be a savage one. I'm just gonna go through, take no prisoners, throw out as much stuff as I possibly can just because I've reached that point where I can't take it anymore and I just need to do something about the clutter. And um, I already did my foundations and concealers a while back and just having a smaller curated collection of things that I wear all the time is so much easier. It just feels so much better. And I don't always have time to do these videos, but but some days like today in particular for some reason I just get really inspired and I do have makeup hoarding tendencies partly because I just don't like to throw things away there's always that time when you know I throw something out and then all of a sudden I need it or I wish I had it but it really doesn't happen all that often so I really shouldn't let that stop me um, and also I keep a lot of things just because I do a lot of dupe videos and I like to keep things on hand for comparison purposes down the road but at this point everything that's in these drawers over here which is what I'm gonna go through um, is pretty much expired I don't think I've gone into those drawers for lipsticks in probably at least two years now um, most of the lipsticks that I use are out on either my shelves that I used to film in front of or um, on top of this desk right here in these little um, plastic containers so everything in these drawers right here needs to go so let's go ahead and throw some stuff out all right, so here is the first drawer, and I think what I'm gonna do is probably pull all of these out, um, but we can go ahead and just take a peek inside each drawer so you can see. I kind of had them in these little holders at one point, but I just kept piling things on top, so there's stuff underneath some of these that I don't even know what it is. Here's a look in drawer number two. Again, tons and tons of lip products. This one is a lot of drugstore, I think. Drawer number three, this one is not as crowded, but again, it's just a ton of drugstore. There's lots of Wet n Wild lipsticks here, as well as some Maybelline. So it's really just these three drawers right here, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so starting with drawer number one, this is everything that was in there. It's so much stuff, it's crazy. Um, so I'll just start grabbing some random products. First up is the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Lip Balms. These are so old. These are the original ones that I bought when they came out. I wanna say 2016 because I do remember reviewing these for my older blog, the Budget Beauty blog. And um, I also remember the display of these saying something kind of alluding to the fact that these were supposed to be a dupe for the fresh sugar lip treatments because it said something like a fresher idea for lip balm or something like that and they also had come out with the true naked palettes at the same time so they had a bunch of different products that seemed like they were duping others and I did kind of like these but I still felt like the fresh ones were better so I didn't wear these nearly as often and pretty soon I just kind of forgot about them in the drawer I'm not even sure if they even make these anymore I don't remember seeing them in stores and then next up are these Maybelline Baby Lips Color Bombs. I totally forgot about these. These were like tinted stick lip balms from the Baby Lips collection. And I don't, I don't even know if they still make these. I feel like I'm gonna say this a lot throughout this video because all of these lip products are so old and I feel like brands, especially at the drugstore, are always turning over their lipstick lines. So um, these I hardly ever used and I can't honestly even remember if I liked them. I still have a piece of tape on this one because when I used to take photos for my blog and still sometimes for Instagram, if I want it to be in a certain spot and I don't want it to keep rolling all over the place, I'll stick a piece of tape so it stays down. Um, so these are definitely going in the trash. They're really old. And then next up are these Hard Candy Plumping Serum Lipsticks. And I'm honestly really sad to get rid of these because these were amazing lipsticks. They were so hydrating and they were really kind of freakishly long lasting for how hydrating they were. They lasted all day. They left kind of like a stain behind on your lips and the formula was just incredible they were so pigmented in one swipe and I hope that they still make these because this is something I would actually repurchase um, I kind of want to swatch one yeah they're just so like creamy and buttery I loved these this one was called admired um, they're just really really nice so I'm definitely gonna check out the hard candy website and see if these still exist because I had forgotten all about these but these were some of my favorite lipsticks for a while Next up is the Bite Beauty BB for Lips in the shade Flush. I forgot they even made these. I really don't think these are around anymore. Ooh, that looks like it turned a funky color. It looks kind of orange on top and then the side view is actually, this is the color it was supposed to be. So yeah, this is going in the garbage, especially since it's something that they no longer make. Next up are the Grande Lips Lip Plumpers. Um, these, 
I think were sent to me in PR from Grande Lips back when I still had a blog. So they're pretty old at this point. I know that they sell these at Sephora now, but I believe when they sent them to me, they were only available on their website. So that tells you how long ago that was. I think they had sent me like the clear one and then also two of the um, colors. So these are definitely going in the trash. Also, I have three of the City Color Cosmetics City Chic Lipsticks. And if you guys used to follow my blog, I used to talk about City Color all the time. Um, but for some reason, I don't know why, I just kind of fell out of love with this brand. At one point, they were really, really good for a drugstore brand. I used to find them at Five Below all the time. And then the last few palettes they came out with, I just felt like the quality was going downhill. And these were um, lipsticks that I liked the formula, but I didn't like any of these colors. I just felt like they were kind of bright and didn't suit me that well. So um, I probably should have thrown these out a long time ago, but they're definitely expired now. Um, I also have a Too Faced lipstick. What is this one? This one is called Nude Beach. I think this is just one of their lipsticks from their regular collection, but it's really, really old. It looks kind of all dried out. So um, this one's going in the garbage, even though it's kind of sad because I feel like I hardly used it. Next up are the Maybelline Color Blur lipsticks. And these, oh my goodness, I bought all of them. I remember going to Walmart and buying a couple to review on my blog and then I just wanted to swatch all the colors. This was before I ever got PR from anybody. So it was a lot for me to buy all of these with my own money, especially back then when I really wasn't making any money doing this um, or doing my blog, I should say. Yeah, this definitely hurts because I remember just spending so much money, like they were probably seven bucks a piece or something like that. And honestly, they weren't my favorite. These were like matte pencils that had a smudge tip on the other side. I don't know if they even still make these. Do they make these still I don't know if they do let me know in the comments below but I don't remember being like super impressed with these at all and then next up we have the Jordana rise and shine lip crayons Jordana is another brand I really haven't been into lately just because they don't really release anything anymore but I did really really love their products a lot especially these I remember these being amazing for lip crayons they were just really like nicely pigmented really soft and smooth on the lips um, so this was one of my favorite colors I wore all the time. This one was Honey Love, um, but these are just super old. I wanna say more than two years probably, so definitely have to get rid of these. I don't even know if they still make them anymore, and I recently saw that Jordana was 50% off, like the whole brand at Walgreens, so I have a feeling it's gonna be going away as well, which is kinda sad. I had also gotten these Oh My Gloss lip glosses from Rimmel, and this is another one that I bought all the colors. I had more, but I think I got rid of them a while ago. They were sitting up on top of my desk and I ended up emptying out the container. I didn't realize I still had some shades in this drawer as well, but I did have the entire range and bought them just so that I could swatch them. I just remember wanting to be able to compete with the larger bloggers like Musings of a Muse who used to get everything in PR and she would swatch all the colors or Temptalia and I wanted to be like them. And I remember just practically going broke trying to buy all of these things. And I don't know, just looking at it now, it seems like such a waste. And then next up, I have a bunch of different lipsticks from It Cosmetics. I have some of their glosses. I have, what is this one? This one is their Blurred Lines in Je ne sais quoi. I think that's like a lipstick or a lip balm. Um, the CC Plus lipstick in the shade Live, oh, lip serum, sorry. And um, this is another, I think, just lip gloss. Yeah, it's their Vitality Butter Gloss in the shade Ruby Slippers. And all of these were actually sent to me in PR. It Cosmetics was one of the very first brands to send me PR. And I was just so blown away and grateful, I still am, that I was actually on their PR list. And I remember um, the contact that I had asking me like what I wanted to try, and she just sent me like all of these glosses. And I just was like, whoa, I can't believe like I'm on a PR list. I was so excited. So um, these kind of hold a special place in my heart for that reason. When I look at them, I just remember like how excited I was to get my first PR package. Um, so I'm kind of sad to throw them away, but I can't wear them anymore just because they're so old at this point. But it's just kind of a nice memory to think about when my blog really started to take off. 
So moving right along, next up are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Most of these are the sheer formula. Um, so that one I actually really liked and I wish they still made them because I find the original formula to be a little bit too drying on my lips. I do have the original in Lumiere, which I think was Kathleen Light's color, and also Frida, which was Coffee Break with Danny's color. But the rest of them I think are the sheer ones and these I really enjoyed. I felt like the formula was so much nicer than the original and even shades that look bright like this one right here which is safari actually was really really pretty and just sheer and really hydrating and almost a little bit glossy so i enjoyed these a lot i kind of wish they were still made but at this point these are too old for me to wear so i'm gonna have to throw them out and then next are these Hard Candy Fierce Effects Daring Lip Glosses. I remember these too. These actually I think had a brush tip and I do remember this black one being particularly beautiful because it ended up being more of like, um, like a deep berry purple on the lips. It was so pretty. I mean, you can see it's actually very sheer, but mixed with your lip color, like the pink of your lips, it was the most beautiful color. I wore this so much because it was so flattering. Um, I wonder if they still make these because I would definitely buy this shade again. The other two were okay, but I felt like this one was really kind of more unique and I just loved it so much, especially in the fall and winter time. So I'm definitely gonna look this up and see if it's still around. All right, and then next up, I have some Makeup Revolution lipsticks. And these, oh my gosh, I think I ordered these from their UK site before they were even at Ulta. I loved this one, Love Can Set You Free. I wore this one all the time, but that tells you how old these are right now that I ordered them before they were at Ulta. So I definitely have to get rid of these, but I do remember liking the formula. I just don't know if they even make these lipsticks anymore. I don't even know what this type of lipstick was called. It doesn't say, it just has the shade name on it. But that was back before their line was really huge. They didn't have as many products back then. So this was like their main core lipstick that they had. Next, I have this one single L'Oreal lipstick. This is their color Riche in the shade Ferris Nude. This is one of my favorite colors that L'Oreal makes. Unfortunately though, I hate the scent of L'Oreal's lipsticks. I wish they would stop with like the floral scent, but this is just the perfect pinky nude lipstick. It's really moisturizing and hydrating on the lips too. So if they would just get rid of that perfumey scent in their lip products, I would definitely repurchase this one. But as of now, I do have a lot of pinky nude shades that I like from other brands. So I probably would not repurchase this one. I also have this Tarte Park Avenue Princess lipstick, and I don't know if they still make this. This is the Amazonian Butter Lipstick. It is a pretty pale nude, so I really didn't wear it all that often because it just kind of made my lips look washed out. I wore it a few times in the summer when I first got it, and then I didn't wear it again, so like most of the lipstick is actually still here. Um, I feel like that's kind of a bit of a waste, but I bought it on another vlogger's recommendation, and it looked really good on her. But as you guys know, something can look amazing on one person and not on another. So this is just something that didn't work out for me, but I never really ended up returning it. All right, so then next up, I have two of the Milani Moisture Lock Lip Oils, and these were not my favorite. I bought these, I was so excited about them, but they're the kind of lip oils that just disappear a few minutes after you put them on your lips. And my lips kind of felt drier after taking them off. So I love Milani, but this product of theirs in particular didn't really work out for me. And I wanna say these are pretty old at this point because I kind of remember getting these when my son was little. I bought them on Long Island. I do remember that back when my in-laws used to live there and they haven't lived there in almost three years now. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of these. So next up, I have some more lip crayons from NYC and also from CoverGirl. The CoverGirl one is the Jumbo Gloss Balm Cream. I don't know if they still make these anymore. NYC sadly is not even around, but um, these were their City Proof Twistable Lip Crayons. And I really liked NYC. I felt like they were a pretty good, super affordable brand. Like they were cheaper than Maybelline and L'Oreal. They were kind of more like wet and wild. And I wanna say these were maybe like $2.99 or something. Um, but I really loved their Demi Lovato line that they had there was an amazing eyeshadow palette and I actually still have that palette I really don't want to part with it because it was so good um, but sadly you can't get NYC pretty much anywhere anymore at least in the US and then next up I have the modern matte lipsticks from Jordana and I remember getting these at Walgreens these were a little bit more affordable so I was able to get multiple colors without breaking the bank too much plus I want to say when I got these I remember them being like 
buy one, get one 50% off or something. So I remember getting a deal on them and I got a bunch of colors to swatch. And at the time I was really against matte lip colors, even though the matte lipstick trend was kind of just taking off when these came out. Um, but these were actually not too bad. They were a little more comfortable than the liquid lips that dry down all the way. So I thought these were pretty good for matte lipsticks. And especially at the price point, I thought they were really, really good. So again, really sad to see Jordana leaving Walgreens, but hopefully they'll pop up somewhere else. And then next I have these Physicians Formula lipsticks, and these actually aren't that old. I wanna say they sent these to me last year maybe. Um, these were part of their 80th anniversary, or I think it was 80 or maybe 75, um, but they came out with these four colors, and these were supposed to be their, I think, original lipsticks that the brand ever had way back when. And I thought these were pretty nice. I just don't wear them very often, and um, I reach for other lipsticks a lot more, so I'll probably get rid of these, even though they're not super old. And then next I just have a couple of like sort of lip balm treatments, the NYX Butter Lip Balm in the shade Parfait. I don't even wanna know how old this is. Um, also the Pixi Tinted Brilliance Balm. This is actually really nice. I forgot all about this, but I really liked these a lot. This one was Unique Pink. It came in a few different colors. I don't know if they still have these. This looks really disgusting. Um, but I wanna say these kind of changed a little bit with the pH of your skin. And this one turned a little hint of pink, but it wasn't too bad. It didn't turn into like a bright hot pink like some of them do. And they were really comfortable on the lips. So I really did like this, but as you can see, it's super old. And then next up I have these two L'Oreal matte liquid lipsticks, I think they are, because they come with like a clear balm on one side and then the lipstick on the other. It says new on it, so I must have gotten these when they first launched and I can't even remember when that was. So they have to be really old, um, but yeah, I don't even know what these are. I'm just gonna throw these out. And then two more from L'Oreal that I'm gonna get rid of as well are the Lilac and La Matte. Do you guys remember these crayons when they came out? These were definitely a few years back now and I don't remember liking these at all. Even the Lilac one felt really dry on my lips but the matte one was even worse. It felt like putting a lip liner on your lips and then just calling it a day. I know with some lip liners you can do that if they're a little more creamy but this felt like putting a dry lip liner on your lips and then not putting anything on top. They were pretty awful so I am getting rid of all of these for sure. I also have a Lorac Alter Ego lip gloss in the shade Goddess. This was one of my favorite shades. I used to wear this all the time. And this Alter Ego lip gloss formula is amazing. I just, I wouldn't get rid of this, but I think it's too old to wear, but I would certainly buy more of these because they're so nice. I mean, they almost have like a gel sort of formula. They're super, super pigmented for a lip gloss and they just feel so comfortable to wear. So if you want like the coverage of a lipstick, but the feel of like a super buttery, non-sticky gloss that's really hydrating. These are amazing. Really just like swatching this makes me feel like I wanna check these out again because I remember loving them so much. I also have this Rimmel lipstick from their Kate Moss line. This is shade 104. And I remember a friend of mine who's a makeup artist recommended that I try this shade. She thought it would look pretty on me. And it's definitely a really beautiful rosy shade. I love this color. It's just really old. I've had it for years and years now. I don't know if they still have this Kate Moss line, but I would definitely pick up this lipstick again. I used to wear it all the time and I kind of miss it now that I'm swatching it. And next, these are two glosses from Walgreens, and I think they were just their own house brand. It was back when they used to do a whole bunch of Disney collections. I think this one might have been from Mulan by this picture here on the tube, but I'm not 100% sure. I really liked these though. I thought they were really cute and I loved getting those Disney collections because they were so affordable and they had really cute palettes usually that went along with them, um, but these are super old, so I'm definitely getting rid of these. And then I also have some lip products from Kiko Milano, and this is another brand I really miss. I mean, their website is still around in the US, but we used to have a store here in Connecticut. I used to go over to the mall all the time and buy Kiko products because I thought they were really good. They were really affordably priced, and I loved all of their um, seasonal collections that used to come out. They were always amazing. Um, so I'm very, very sad to see this go. I mean, look at this packaging, and these glosses were so affordable, and they just looked so cool and high-end. A lot of times their packaging would look kind of like Charlotte Tilbury with the rose gold but so I do really miss Kiko but I suppose I could still go online and check out what's new from them I really haven't even thought about them in a while so I may just do that let me know if you guys want to see a Kiko video
All right, and then the last few are just kind of some random lip colors that I had. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion in the shade Pink Passion. And this is just like a really nice tinted balm. I really liked these, but I kind of feel like maybe they were phasing these out because I haven't seen them around as much lately. Um, also, this is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. And I'm guessing that they do still make this because Orgasm is such like a core product in their line. But um, I think this particular one was like a 100 point perk at Sephora. So it was just a free sample. And then this one is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. And I really don't remember too much about this. So um, it's old, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, also, this is the NYC Smooch Proof Liquid Lip Stain. Again, NYC is no longer around. The next is the Laura Geller Color Drenched Lip Gloss. I think this came in a kit that I got at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but um, I really wasn't crazy about this color in particular, so I really didn't wear it that much. Um, this is the CoverGirl Katy Perry Kitty Purry shade. I really liked this one. I don't know if this is too old to wear. I can't remember when I bought it, um, but I thought this lipstick was pretty nice. This is the Paracone No Lip Gloss Lip Gloss, and again, it has the tape on it because I must have been doing a flat lay picture. This actually says it expired 1 of 2017, so this is definitely going in the garbage. I also got the Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Lipstick. I felt like everybody had this for a while and it was nice. I really do like their formula a lot. I just never really thought to wear it. And I don't know why this packaging is so beat up like this, but it seems like it has like um, a film on top of the tube or something and it just got all nicked up from being in the drawer. This is a Dior lipstick. This is the Addict Lacquer Stick in the shade Lazy. Oh yeah, this was a really, really pretty color. I used to wear this all the time. Um, but I have no idea when I purchased this. It's got to be a long time ago, so I have to get rid of this as well. And then this is the SD Edit. Do you remember this brand at Sephora? It's not at my Sephora anymore, so I don't know if they just took it out of my store or if it's gone completely, but this was their Flash Photo Gloss in White Flash. Huh, I totally forgot I even had this. So um, either way, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think I really ever wore it. So anyway, now let's move on to drawer number two. Okay, so now moving on to drawer number two. First up, we have the Maybelline Lip Color Palette. I got this quite a few years ago, and as you can see, it was barely touched. I think I just swatched it and I never actually wore it. And mainly that's because I'm not really too big a fan of lip palettes. I feel like they're bulky. I'm not gonna carry it around in my purse. And normally I'm applying lipstick on the go, or at least if I apply it at home, I wanna be able to take the same shade with me in my purse and touch up if I need to. So I just don't get a lot of use out of lip palettes, sadly, but I purchased this because I was getting a lot of requests to swatch it on my blog. And then next up, I have these LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. And I got a whole bunch of colors because I had heard that they were a dupe for the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. And these had a different applicator than the Too Faced did. They just had your regular like plastic slanted applicator, which I didn't like. I feel like the Too Faced ones were a little more precise. But at the time that I bought these, everybody was saying that they were a dupe for them. And I think they kind of were. They were pretty similar. But I ended up buying a whole bunch of colors of these. And then I also grabbed a little mini set of the Too Faced melted ones just so that I could swatch them side by side and try to find dupes. I was really into finding dupes even back then. Um, so I do like the sort of spongy tip applicator of the Too Faced ones a little bit better. I felt like it was a lot easier to be more precise with these and I felt like the formula was a little bit better on these as well. It kind of um, stuck to your lips a little better. Those were a little more um, slippery. So anyway, all of these are super old, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them, unfortunately. Next up, we have the Flower Beauty Hydra Silk Ultimate Lip Butters, and I actually really, really like these. I'm not quite sure if they still make them, but if they do, I might pick up one or two more shades. I believe Flower had sent these to me in PR, but that was years ago now, so I don't feel comfortable putting these on my lips at this point but I did like a few of these colors so much that I wore them all the time for a while. So I think these are really, really nice tinted lip balms. The formula was great, and I thought that they were actually pretty pigmented for a tinted lip balm. And then this is one of the Julep Light on Your Lips lipsticks in the shade Primp. And I think these are actually really beautiful lipsticks. I just wanna show you this. These have the most lightweight formula. They feel like you're wearing absolutely nothing. And this color was stunning. I really might seek these out. I know that my local Ulta carries Julep, so I may just go and pick up another one of these if they have it there. I originally got this in the Julep Monthly subscription box, and that was actually one of my favorite boxes for a while 
sale because it was such a good deal. It was $19.95 a month and you could choose whatever products you wanted, whether it was nail polish or makeup, but it just got so repetitive because I had so much of their makeup and so much of their nail polish that I just didn't see myself being excited about the products anymore. But I may actually go and check out their box again because it was definitely one of the best subscription boxes because you could customize it. And I think a lot of their makeup that I have now is expired. So I might end up getting more excited about it again, but they always sent you at least $40 worth of product for $19.99, so it was a really good deal. I also have one of the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani lipsticks. This was the shade Ex-Girlfriend. Oh my gosh, I even kept it in the box because I just felt like this was such a collector's item and I, I hardly ever wore it because I didn't want to use it up and now it's probably expired, so that was really, really stupid on my part. So yeah, this one was one of their sheer lipsticks. So um, I really thought it was beautiful. And unfortunately, I am sad that I have to get rid of it because these are no longer made. But I just really love this whole line in general. I like the face palette. I like the eyeshadow palette. I do still have those. But this one, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable putting it on my lips at this point. I also have some Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks that they used to have, and they've since reformulated them all. Um, but this one is the shade Rush. This is one of their regular lipsticks that I thought was really pretty. Oh, that does not look good. Ew, it looks like there's mold in here. Oh my God. Okay. That's the first time I've seen that out of all of these old lipsticks. So that is gross. Um, and then these were the Sheer Revolution lipsticks, which were really amazing. And I miss these. I wish they still had them. Oh my gosh, this one has mold too. Okay, I'm not even going to open these or touch them or anything. These are going right in the trash. But these were awesome and I miss them so much. And then these are the L'Oreal Color Riche. I don't even know what these are called. I don't know why the stickers are missing, but I know they were from the Color Riche line and they were so nice. I had Blushing Harmony, Molto Mauve, and purple prelude and these were the nicest liquid lipsticks because um, they weren't the kind that dry down they just had the most beautiful texture actually they remind me a lot of those Lorac alter ego lip glosses that I was talking about from the first drawer they just were like kind of nicely pigmented non-sticky buttery gloss and I really love these but I want to say when I picked these up they were already getting kind of hard to find so I don't think they make these anymore sadly and then next up are the Revlon ultra HD matte lip color and they they actually did send these to me in PR so um, I do have a lot of the shades and I have to say out of all the matte liquid lipsticks that are out there on the market this is one of my favorites and I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with me because they don't completely dry down but that's one reason why I like them because even though they may not be as long-lasting or bulletproof as some of the ones that do dry down they just felt so comfortable on my lips they didn't make my lips look all dried out so that's one thing that I loved about them I would say the only thing I didn't like was the scent. I feel like these had kind of like a fruity scent to it. It really wasn't my favorite, but they were just kind of like this soft, moussey texture that just felt comfortable all day. And they definitely did transfer, like if you were eating or drinking, but they didn't migrate outside your lip line and they were really long lasting if you weren't eating or drinking. So I really didn't mind too much. Now we're getting into some really old lip glosses. These lip lavas, I wanna say these are from 2014. Um, so these are so old, but I actually really like these a lot. I'm not gonna swatch these because I don't know what kind of mold or funk is growing in here being that they're five years old, but they had kind of like a brush tip and they were really kind of metallic looking but at the same time they just looked so beautiful because they were a gloss i'm not a fan of matte liquid lipsticks that look dry but these had kind of a wet look to them and they were really shimmery this color was absolutely stunning um so sadly i don't think they make these anymore but i thought they were kind of a fun product Next, I have two of the CoverGirl Colorlicious lip glosses, and I don't know if they still make these either. They got rid of a lot of products when they went through the rebrand, so I'm, I haven't seen these around, and I think they're really old, so I'm going to have to definitely toss these ones as well. I also got these in PR. These were the Infallible Pro Matte Glosses from L'Oreal, which I thought was a ridiculous name, and they really confused me because how can a matte lipstick be a gloss? It just kind of didn't make sense, and these were more just like matte liquid lipsticks I would say so these were kind of a little bit strange admittedly I didn't wear them all that much and they're from 2015 so I definitely have to get rid of them now even though it's kind of sad because most of them are like brand new 
Circa is another brand that I'm really sad isn't around anymore because I really enjoyed some of their products. They had the best cream blushes and these lip glosses were amazing as well. Um, I had a whole bunch of different shades. This one kind of survived my last purge because I did have probably five or six of them and I thought that these were just beautiful glosses. They were super pigmented, um, really almost had like this cushiony, velvety texture to them. They felt so nice, almost like a primer for your lips. They seem to kind of fill in fine lines. And I'm really sad that this line is no longer at Walgreens. I feel like it didn't really have a chance to take off, but um, I do miss it quite a bit. And then next I have this e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine. This just looks incredibly old. I, I don't even want to know how old this is. It looks like it might have something growing inside of it. Yep, we're just going to toss this one. I also have more NYC lip glosses. Actually, no, these are Expert Last Lip Lacquer. So I think these were matte liquid lipsticks. I remember doing a piece about these on my blog and swatching everything. I think, I don't know, I don't remember liking these all that much, um, but these were one of the last products I got before they disappeared as a brand. Still, it's been a few years now, and like I said, I don't remember really liking them, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. I also have some of the NYX Butter Glosses and Intense Butter Glosses, and these are really nice lip glosses in general. I would definitely repurchase them. It's just that these are so old that I have to get rid of them, kind of like everything else that I've been showing. But in particular, I think Eclair was one of my favorite shades. I probably wouldn't go back and buy them all again, but I would probably just pick one, maybe two at the most, just because like I'm trying to clear out, so I don't wanna build too big of a collection back up again, but I do think these are really nice lip glosses. And then these are the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. And these, as far as matte liquid lipsticks go, they're pretty good, but they are still pretty drying. And matte liquid lipsticks just aren't something that I wear that often. And there are a few like the Revlon that I feel like I would wear a little bit more than I would these. And these are also older. So I'm gonna toss these and I'm guessing I probably won't repurchase them, especially since the new satin ones they came out with also dry down all the way like a matte lipstick, but they felt a little bit more comfortable than these did. So I would probably Probably just get the satin ones going forward. And then these Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Colors. These were also so cool. I remember thinking the packaging was awesome. They came in these little tins with a mirror inside and then the product was just kind of sitting in this little velvety case. It was just so extra for Hard Candy, especially because they're like, you know, five bucks or whatever they are. They're so inexpensive, but I was just really impressed with how they packaged these. And I thought that again, for a matte liquid lipstick, they weren't too bad. They did have kind of a velvety moussey texture, which I tend to prefer over the ones that completely dry down. I know there were some people that really loved these or really hated them, but I kind of really like these a lot. It's just that, again, these are too old to keep, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Next, I have another product from Bite Beauty. This was their cream lip gloss in the shade Opal. This was actually a lip topper that was supposed to go over any color and kind of change it a little bit. This looks really discolored though. I don't even want to open it, but it used to be like sort of a pearlescent white shade and now it looks a little bit yellowed. So I'm gonna say this is definitely no good anymore. I also have one of the Urban Decay Naked Lip Glosses. I'm not sure if these are still made, but I thought they were pretty nice lip glosses. Um, it's super old though, so just like all the rest, I am gonna get rid of it just based on that. These are the Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvets. I don't remember too much about these. I think I just bought these to swatch on my blog. I may have done a review on them, but I honestly don't remember. So if they're not memorable, then I'm guessing I probably wasn't too impressed with them. Then I have a few of the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paints. These were just okay for me. They kind of reminded me of the Too Faced Melted Mattes and they weren't the most hydrating lip product in the world. I tend to wear glosses and tinted balms the most, so I really didn't reach for these that much. And then the last one is the Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Matte Lipstick from The Balm. This is in the shade Committed. This was a really beautiful shade, but again, it's a matte liquid lipstick, so really didn't wear it all that often, and now it's just way too old to even salvage. All right, so here's that third drawer, and these are the Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss. Oh my gosh, these are so old. I don't even know how many years old these are, but it's a lot. I know I still was writing the Budget Beauty blog when I had these, so these definitely have to go. Do they even make these anymore? I'm not entirely sure on that one, but it looks like I bought the whole collection again. I think I have every shade that they made in here. Um, I also have some of these Hard Candy All Glossed Up Hydrating Lip Stains. 
I don't even remember what these were like, but I guess I was really into lip crayons back in the day because I have so many of them that I just, I don't even really remember wearing them that much, but I must have been into them, I guess. I also have a lip crayon from Laura Geller. This is the Love Me Do Moisturizing Lip Crayon. This is actually one of my favorite lip crayon formulas. I do remember this one. It was super hydrating. Sometimes lip crayons can be a little bit more waxy, but this one felt really nice on the lips and the colors were good. Um, this one was a really pretty like punchy color and it was pretty pigmented as well. So I really like this one a lot. And then the rest of these lipsticks were um, sent to me in PR from Wet n Wild. Um, a couple years ago, they did a National Dark Lipstick Day and they sent me a bunch of their really deep dark lipsticks. So they sent the Velvet Matte Lip Crayons. They also sent over their Mega Slicks Lip Glosses and then just some of their basic lipsticks. So they were all really, really dark colors, especially these lipsticks. Like this one is Cherry Bomb. And these are just not colors that I wear very often, so they pretty much just sat in this drawer. Now they're a couple years old, so even if they're not expired, I'm gonna get rid of them just because I don't wear dark lipsticks that often. And I have a few of them that I do wear from brands like Flower Beauty and Tarte that I just like the formula of a little bit more, so I really don't have any reason to keep these. And then these weren't in any of the drawers, but I'm actually gonna declutter these too. And these I only got a few months ago, so I feel horrible for throwing these out, but these are the Joa lip products. And while the formulas felt like they were okay, they all have this like floral sort of perfumey scent. And when I wear them, it just gives me a headache and just bothers me so much that I can't wear them. So I did swatch them all in a video. If you guys wanna check out the swatches of it, but I just can't keep them. They're just taking up a lot of room and I will never wear them again. I know that for a fact. I just really can't put those kind of perfumey scents on my lips. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I feel a lot better and just like, I have some space now. I have some empty drawers that I can use to put other things away. So uh, I can start to work on getting the rest of this room cleaned up because it's a disaster. I would be super embarrassed just to show you what this room looks like because this is where I unbox all of my packages that come in and there's boxes everywhere and products that really need to get put somewhere. So I'm gonna keep on working on that and um, hopefully I can get to do an eyeshadow palette um, declutter next. I plan to do another whole video like I did last year, I think it was last February, showing my entire eyeshadow palette collection. That one was I think over an hour and a half long. So I definitely plan to do that again once I have time and I think this year as I go through them, I'm gonna declutter them at the same time. So if you guys wanna see that, definitely let me know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like declutter videos, please give this a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys next time, bye.